Okay, so this is, I guess, a Marvel room? I don't know. This is a, where I have most of my Marvel stuff, I guess. Some of the, I'm so sorry that that's doing that. Okay. I'm trying to get the light. And there's not much light in here. I can't have light in here because it destroys the toys. I don't want faded toys. You know, I go to a comic store, a toy store, whatever, and I see their display in the front window, and it just, just kills me. Like, you're putting all those nice stuff, all that nice stuff in the front window that's just getting all that uh, UV radiation and destroying the colors and the boxes and everything. It's just, like, people like that should not have toy stores. <laughs> They're just in it for the profit. Yeah, some more stuff. Apologize for the mess. I've been always trying to move it around and everything, but not very successful because every time I move something, something else has to get moved and the quantity and the space available is not. Well, I imagine talking to some collectors, they know. Okay, move over here. Just a little display. <laughs> This was a bedroom upstairs in the house. Uh, my wife does not want to come back here because it's too far and you can't hear anything, blah, blah, blah. So I said, all right, fine. You're going to want to use it. I've got some stuff that I can use in it. <laughs> she came up here a little while ago. And she's like, what the hell? I'm like, well, you weren't using the rooms. <laughs> yeah, she's really good, though. <laughs> Spawn. That lights up, but you can never change the battery. So I haven't, uh, I haven't used, tried to use it forever. Used to run up. <laughs> yeah, you're not seeing a theme here, right? No, there's no theme here. <laughs> Some more spawn stuff. Try to go a little quicker because I know it's. This is for me as much as it is for anybody who likes toys, just because I don't have any insurance on any of this stuff. And uh, yeah, when it burns, my house burns down to the ground, I get nothing. It's some sort of special insurance for collectibles or something that costs a fortune that I can't afford. So I guess if everything leaves, I'll still have this. Mind you, I'll probably die in the fire because he'd be like, what's he doing? He's saving his toys. Well, I'd save my dogs first, my wife. But besides that, my toys are next. <laughs> a lot of the stuff I like to move downstairs, but I just don't have room. I mean, this was a great um, statue when I bought it years ago. It was a Japanese take or something on the Predator with the horse. It was... Something like that. I can't remember, but I fell in love with it, of course, and I bought it. It's really nice. Just always thought that was really wicked. Oh, look. Do you, anybody remember that? A Sears Grand Prix game. Jeez, that's got to be from the 70s. Something like that. I got that as a kid. Deadpool guns. Those are really fun, actually. <laughs> of course, I had to buy two. One to take out, one to leave in the box. I'm not a professional videographer, in case you're wondering. Sorry about that. Uh, a little bit of Transformer stuff. Now, some of the boxes um, don't have the stuff in it. I just like the boxes, so I started putting the boxes on a back wall or something. But I'm going to have to move them because um, I ran out of room. <laughs> That's in the box. I have two of those. I had a Stretch Arm Strong as a kid, and I had the Stretch Arm Monster. And, of course, I threw them in the toy um, chest, and they broke with the corn syrup. Pouring out everywhere, so my mother threw them all out. Didn't even keep the heads. Oh. <laughs> it 
it's just some boxes. Over here, I have the uh, the figure of the Balrog. Um, Rodimus Black, what's going on about this there? He picked this up a few weeks ago. Um, it is a great figure. There's the whip and uh, the swords around here somewhere. Um, yeah, this is a great figure too. This was the first release. Um, it was really loud. It's not as loud anymore because the batteries need to be changed. But um, um, they actually, the second release, this one was so loud that they turned it uh, speaker down. Like if I put new batteries in there, that'd be super. Oh, what did I just knock over? Oh, well, nothing much. All right. And here's some more stuff that's in boxes that I don't even X-File stuff and. So yeah, here's some of the more stuff. Just the, the boxes. And, oh, I did knock something over. Um, some more transformer stuff. I'm sorry for the mess. I I don't really have a huge excuse, except for laziness, I guess. Um, I keep moving stuff up and moving it around and everything. And uh, anybody that has a collection room will know that you, it's constantly moving, constantly wanting to do something with it. This is the uh, Alien vs. Predator chess set. Uh, I got this in, after the first movie came out. Um, yeah, it's nice. It was too expensive, mind you, but it's nice. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory stuff. I always want to take these out. I think these would be pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that. See, I can't see it very good in there. But they're so fragile and everything. I said, screw it. And I don't have much room. Let's see if I can get this out here and show you. Oh, that's even upside down. <laughs> Come on, stuff. Taco truck. Oh, Captain Caveman. Can't forget Captain Caveman. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it. You can see, like, um, there's, I guess, three rooms, plus the downstairs. So my wife is really good about it. Um, she lets me do pretty much anything I want to keep me happy, which is, you know, awesome. I do the same for her, too. So She just doesn't like toys. <laughs> and I don't understand why. I really don't. She said to me the other day, she's like, I wish I could get excited like you do for your Transformers and all that. I'm like, yeah, me too. It'd be awesome. <laughs> anyway, guys. Okay, right on. I'll talk to you guys later. Say bye, Bender. <laughs>